Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another Super Tease video. We've got another Dragon Flight update, and this one is for the Priest class, all three specializations, Holy Discipline, and most importantly, Shadow, are receiving a large update uh, in terms of class design for the next expansion. I was a bit concerned um, with Priest and Druid specifically, whether or not, you know, maybe that was it, and we're just going to move on uh, with the rest of the classes or not, uh, but it looks like they are going to be revisiting the Priest, and hopefully this means they will also be revisiting Druid as well in the future. There's a lot of interesting and new and exciting abilities and functions functionality uh, for the priest in this build that have definitely piqued my curiosity. So the post starts off with greetings priests. With the next alpha update you will see that all trees within the priest class including the core talent tree have received substantial changes in terms of pathing, arrangement, and choices. For the entirety of these changes please look forward to this week's patch notes. That said let's leap of faith in and take a peek at some of the changes we have in store for the priests in Dragonflight. Of the core tree, the original tree had limited choices as it was obvious which direction you were supposed to go based on specialization. This is again because of synergies and non-existent synergies of returning baseline spells like Flash Heal and Renew for something like Disc Priest. Additionally, we wanted to reel back on how much throughput was available in the core tree. While there will still be some throughput options available, we wanted to focus on utility options within the core tree to let the specialization trees focus more on throughput choices. Here are some abilities you will see in the core tree. So for angelic bulwark when an attack brings you below 30 percent health you gain an absorption shield equal to 15 percent of your maximum health for 20 seconds cannot occur more than every 90 seconds uh, very similar to the shaman nature's guardian i'm not a super big fan of mechanics like this um, I don't know how useful they'll be in PvE, but so often these kind of like auto bubble or auto heal mechanics end up being pretty problematic in PvP, so not a big fan. Void Shift. You, you and the currently targeted party or raid member swap health percentages increases the lower health percentage of the two to 25% if below that amount. So Void Shift is coming from a PvP talent to a baseline core talent, which means you'll have more PvP talent options as all as a, as a Shadow Priest. Uh, which is interesting and this also means you'll be able to get this because I don't think you could get this as disc or holy This is a pretty big cooldown Holy word life a word of holy power that heals the target if the target is below 35% health Holy word life heals for 400% more and the cooldown of holy word life is reduced by 20 seconds So kind of a similar mechanic uh, this kind of last second emergency instant heal Kind of problematic again in PvP. Also, healing output like this is generally not very desirable in PvE. I think that it is generally uh, sought after to be damage reduction. So we we'll have to wait and see. But those aren't going to be really impactful, I think, in PvE environments. But Void Shift is a massive one for PvP. Holy Tree. Our goal with Holy was to allow for further specialization into your favorite spells, whether it's increasing the power of your single target heals, AoE interactions with Prayer of Healing, or Holy Word Sanctify, or you just want Renew on your entire group. We hope you're able to find a play style you enjoy. A new talent, Revitalizing Prayers. Prayer of Healing has a 30% chance to apply 6-second six, six Sond Renew uh, to allies it heals. Uh, harmonious Apparatus. He Circle of Healing reduces the cooldown of Holy Word Sanctify. Prayer of Healing reduces the cooldown of Holy Word Serenity. And Holy Fire reduces the cooldown of Holy Word Chastise. I think this is just the legendary of the conduit coming forward. Uh, new Spirited Litany. After Prayer of Mending heals 80 slash 40 times. Gain Power Infusion for 10 seconds. So getting a little bit of a kind of a juicy hit of damage every once in a while. That might backfire in PvP if you just end up getting it spell stolen from you as a <laughs> against a mage. Uh, Discipline Priest. With Discipline, we aimed to address a lot of the dependencies issues that existed uh, like Holy and address the lack of connectedness in the tree. Along with this, we took a hard look at what choices were being offered to the player and revised those as well. Here are some examples of new spells in the Discipline Tree along with some changes to the core spells. So Power Word Shield now has a cooldown and its absorb has been significantly increased. Weakened Soul has been removed. I'm not a big fan of that. I feel like that mechanic was kind of like kind of core to what Discipline was. Renew and Flash Shield can now apply Atonement. So you're just going to apply Atonement with Renew instead of Power Word Shield? And you just have Rapture Power Word Shields all the time or something? And are intended to be primary sources of Atonement reapplication. Our aim is to allow for individual Power Word Shield casts for each spec to be more valuable, as well as reducing frustration surrounding the weakened Soul debuff. Oh, this also means Power Word Shield for all specs is going to be a button that is more useful to use, not just for Discipline Priest. So again, it's kind of like stripping away the, the spec identity and making it more like about the class, but... I liked Discipline Priest being all about 
getting a Toman out with damage and kind of that's kind of a wait and see for me. Uh, expiation increases the damage of Mind Blast and Shadow Word Death by 10 to 20 percent. Mind Blast and Shadow Word Death consume three to six seconds of Shadow Word Pain or Purge the Wicked, instantly dealing that damage. Uh, I don't think this is this is kind of like a, it says it's new, but I think this has already been an effect that has existed in the past. So it's going to be a pretty big single target hit. Uh, new Aegis of Wrath, Powered Shield absorbs 30% additional damage, but the absorb amount decays by 3% every second. Okay. Uh, Divine Aegis, Critical Heals create a protective shield on the target, absorbing 15% of the amount healed. Uh, last 15 seconds. I think that's a Wrath of Lich King mechanic. Critical Heals with Powered Shield absorb 15% additional damage. And now we finally get into like the Pesta re Resistance of the sh of the Shadow Priest that really got me excited uh, in this portion of the post for like what what's going to be happening with this spec. Shadow has received the largest batch of changes among the group. Our initial aim was to address dungeon gameplay surrounding Searing Nightmare, but they do a lot of these things are also going to be big impacts on PvP. Here's a few changes that we expect will improve Shadow's dungeon gameplay. Shadow Crash now applies Vampiric Touch to four targets. That's a big buff in PvP. Um, if you're struggling to get Vampiric Touches up on a multiple targets and melee DPS attacking you, being able to just get it out with a Shadow Crash is a really big buff. Uh, and now your Powered Shield is also going to have a cooldown and be a massive shield. I also wonder what that does for the honor. There's an honor talent that interacts with Powered Shield. Dark Void deals damage to your target and nearby enemies and applies Shadow Word Pain to eight targets. So again, another way to AoE, get your dots out on the multiple targets. Uh, pain of death shadow word death deals 20 percent of its damage to all targets affected by your shadow word pain within 40 yards I'm trying to give you some like execute burst damage that's that's going to be more beneficial i think in pve than pvp mind blasts damage can be increased through a few talents allowing for psychic link to become more valuable in aoe mind seer now costs insanity instead of generating insanity and its damage has been significantly increased so this is going to be kind of annoying for trying to pull stealthies out of stealth in pvp um because if you don't have insanity you won't be able to press it uh which is a little unfortunate and then searing nightmare has just completely gone out of the game so they don't want that to be the the mechanics of it and then here this last little excerpt this is really what caught my attention we also discussed a design where void form is not central to the spec so void form has been basically the core of shadow priest for since legion Prior to Legion, the spec had its share of fun talents and abilities that we have modernized and brought into the talent tree, including Mind Spike and Dark Evangelism. So they're bringing back some kind of like um, some kind of like Cataclysm style of mechanics for the Shadow Spike was a really fun like mashed it up and then exploded the spikes you stacked up for massive burst damage on the target. This could bring back a heavy hitting single target Shadow Priest that has been gone from the game for a really long time. We appreciate the abundance of feedback given and your patience as we worked on bringing the priest talent trees in line with our current design philosophy. We will continue to monitor feedback in the coming weeks as we bug fix and finish implementation on these last few talents. Thank you, and we will see you in the Dragon Isles soon. wonder if we're going to get an announcement date. Very exciting post. I love that they're revisiting previous iterations of the classes, redoing, tuning up, some stuff I have concerns about, which I'm going to have to test. If you want to see that type of testing, and you like this type of news, make sure you do hit the subscribe button. I'm doing my best to be a great resource for you to stay ahead of the competition and always be able to enhance your own personal experience within World of Warcraft maximally. Uh, and I've got a long-term goal of trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and it would be greatly appreciated in your support along that journey. Other than that, thank you very much for watching the video and I will catch you in the next one.